What are we doing, Daniel? Stuff. It's motor stuff. Motor stuff. All right, so Daniel, Nick, and I are gonna fuck shit up. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but we're taking an engine building class this term, and we are going to build an M50 instead of one of the shop motors, and hopefully drop it into a sick drift car. So oh. we'll we'll see how this goes. E30 gang, dog. 30 gang, possibly, maybe an E30. Most likely an E30. It'll be fucking dope. Hopefully. There it is. Just remember, when you're doing stuff to this, always wear a condom. You never know what kind of diseases it could have. So we're gonna take this to class, dude. Fuck yeah. Does it need a new valve cover? Uh, cause I fucking dropped the motor on his face and cracked it. I figured it's partially my motor. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's our motor. Yeah. This is, this is gonna be like what people are gonna see first when they come to Daniel and Quinn's auto shop, though. Right. What's your first project, bro? Oh, well, we built this fucking. We built this drifty 30. Fucking M50 motor for fucking drifty 30. Gang, gang. The first build crew project, bro. Yeah, bro. This this oil pan is from an M3, so it's already got M3 parts on it. <laughs> it's basically an S54. It's basically an S54. <laughs> You know what motor I really like? The uh, the S14, dude. Oh, such a sick motor. And when right? people think of S14, they think of 240, like, like Nissan and shit. And I'm like, nah, dude, it's all about BMW. The OG 240s, the E30M, bro. This is the good valve cover. Fucking Yeah. Ready? This is valve covers already fucking cracked. One day we should just go like get a list and do a fat hardware run. Go to Ecology. Worst case scenario, we'll run down to the list and grab a bunch of parts. How clean the cams are though, dude. It's solid. Like that's a pretty. It, internally, it's clean as fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's about to get cleaner. Yeah. So like the casting, the cylinder head casting is super clean. So does this side not have a cover? No, it doesn't. Only this side does. No, I am. Oh, bro. Yeah, we just gotta paint it ourselves. Do a sick ass design. Oh yeah. We'll get so much more street cred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll have like 20 more horsepower just because that. Yeah, bro. We'll reach our power goals because we can't. The block's gonna be lavender. Fuck yeah. Dude, let's do velvet. Dude, velvet. Vel velvet. <laughs> lavender yeah. velvet, bro. Fuck yeah. It's gonna burn, but oh well. <laughs> so, yeah. Dude, sick. Dude, dude. It's, got it's fine, dude. Oh, bro, dude, look, this is how you're supposed to tighten <laughs> nuts, dude. There you go. It's solid, bro. Fine, right, go anywhere. Mm. Hype for this build? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm so hyped, dude. I'm just like, I want this class to be like accelerated already. Hell yeah. It's you're going by so slow. Two days a week? I wish it was like three days a week, honestly. Right. Five units instead of four. Good job, man. Hey, look at that, bro. Send it, bro. <laughs> right there. Oh, sick, dude. Ah, oh, sick, dude. Sorry, put the towel there, bro. Fucking ice, bro. This is ice. Ice. This is the start of the build, bro. Ice. Riff Raff would say ice. This is where the build This is made is. out of ice, bro. Too much frostbite. I saw it. How fucking hyped are you that we're doing this? We're building a fucking motor in class that we're actually gonna fucking use. Dude, this is so tight. Dude, yeah, I'm so hyped right now. Uh, it's, it's like, it's fucking sick that we're gonna be doing this and then we're gonna be dropping it into E30, hopefully. Hopefully. As a drift car. And you know, this just hypes me up so much because I wanted to do a drift car for so fucking long. Fuck I mean, my dream out. is to do a rally car. But drift car is fucking sick too. Because... We're gonna do we're gonna do all the cars. Yeah, bro, we're gonna do everything and we're like that's rally, the thing, dude. This is the drift. fucking we're the dream team right now, dude. Like this is it. This is the like, start of the build crew. This is, bro. Dude, this is the start of the build crew. Build crew two point or one point oh, like fucking straight up. Man, it's build crew, bro. You already know. We're gonna fucking we're gonna get shit done. We're gonna build this motor right. It's gonna be ready for a turbo. We're gonna drop a small turbo on it. Like it's just gonna be stout. We only want like 350 horsepower, not a whole lot of power, maybe a little bit more, maybe up to 400, but the more horsepower, you know, the more sketchy it can get, you know, and you don't, honestly, you can drift a fucking E30 that has, you know, 170 to the wheels, easy. So 200, 300 horsepower, it's gonna be super easy. Hell yeah. 
So for this build, we're going to be basically using all factory components. We're going to be using new bottom end gaskets, uh, new oil pump, main rod bearings, new piston rings, stuff like that. We're going to use, reuse the same crank rods, pistons, stuff like that. Um, the only thing we're modifying on the motor is we're going to be throwing a multi-layer cosmetic or cosmic steel head gasket, an MLS gasket, and ARP head bolts. So the motor will basically be prepped for mild boost, which will be nice later on the line. Initial plan for this is to just have it in the car and run, and then we can start learning how to drift and stuff from there. I want to focus more on relying on skill to drift than relying on power, so I think adding the turbo later in the build will be like the, the right idea, you know what I mean? And I agree. I think, I really think that we need to do that. If you have the skill to be able to drift, you can drift anything. Yeah. No matter how much power it really has. So. It's going to be tight. I'm hyped for this. And I feel like this motor might be done before the slot bucket motor is done. So. I'm gonna try and get all my fuck ups out on this motor. Hopefully we don't mess it up too bad. We have a bunch of people who work at the shop who know what they're doing. So we have help if we need it, you know. We don't have to figure it all out on our own. And the skills I use from this, I can transfer into helping build the convertible motor. So it'll be sick. Here you go. Oh dude, gotta get that engine stand, bro. Gotta get my engine stand. That's cool. Look at Arthur. There's Arthur. The first time Arthur's been featured. It's gonna be like a documentary, and then you guys are gonna like put cute little slideshows and like little bloopers. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, Andre, how are you? How many motors do you think I pulled out with a seat <laughs> so we got the okay to bring the chassis into the class we can record in class so that makes it even better uh, the engine is in the class right now so all we have to do is get this motor rebuilt get all the components that we need to be able to rebuild it hit the chassis itself and put it all together and make a make a reality with this drift car so basically we got the motor in class we're building the motor in class we're gonna buy a chassis prep it and then drop it in in class it's gonna be so fucking sick and we got the okay from the teachers and the administrators to film in class so you guys are gonna get weekly videos on the progress of the motor build it's gonna be so sick Dude, i'm so, so high. hyped so high bro we were freaking <laughs> snapping necks when we were dropping that motor in the literally entire the entire class. class was fucking circling around watching us pull this motor out Dude, it's so like <laughs> so sick i'm so hyped for it Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh, and I will see you guys later. Maybe you should take it slow.